Hello, I'm Dr. James Thomas. In this video, I talk about two completely different uses of the term muscle tension dysphonia. The most common example I see of muscle tension dysphonia occurs in young singers, such as this 15-year-old singer who's complaining of difficulty. I'd like you to notice how far apart the vocal cords are posteriorly, which is causing the air leak that you hear. You might reasonably ask, how do I know this is muscle tension? Well, let's take a look at another view. Let's look at the same clip again, this time in slow motion. First we'll see the vocal processes coming completely together. Then the posterior cricorytenoid muscle will begin contracting and we'll see it expand on the posterior aspect of the glottis. As it contracts, we'll see the vocal processes pull apart and a gap appear between the posterior aspect of the vocal cords. Let's watch it again. Then we'll see the PCA muscle gradually expand. and the vocal processes pull apart. I would like to differentiate muscle tension from supraglottic squeeze, though I think supraglottic squeeze is often called muscle tension dysphonia by other physicians. Supraglottic squeeze occurs in two dimensions, as a side-to-side -side squeeze of the false vocal cords and an anteroposterior squeeze of the arytenoids in the epiglottis. It represents an underlying glottic incompetence. In fact, let's take a look at a patient and we'll see that at low pitches, the supraglottic squeeze is tremendous because of the underlying air leak. But as the patient gradually tenses the cricothyroid muscle and pulls the vocal cords longer going to a higher pitch, the supraglottic squeeze becomes unnecessary. This type of muscle tension is compensatory. And if the underlying glottic incompetence, whether paralysis or bowing, is corrected, either surgically or if the patient spontaneously raises their pitch, the overlying supraglottic squeeze goes away. So here I've contrasted what I believe is true muscle tension, that is adductor and abductor muscles contracting simultaneously and competing with each other, from what I believe is a compensatory muscle tension or a compensatory supraglottic squeeze where the patient tries to make up for an underlying glottic incompetence. Thank you for listening. I'm Dr. James Thomas. For more information about your voice, please have a look at voicedoctor.net.